Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinkney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This particular one does have the black appearance package on it. Its exterior color is billet silver. It has the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and an 8-speed automatic transmission. Now the black appearance package is going to give you color match front and rear bumpers, black wheels, black emblems, as well as your black headlight housing and grill. For 2022, they slightly updated the Bighorn grill, so it looks kind of more like that uh, elongated honeycomb style. You are gonna have your halogen headlights as well as fog lights. Parking sensors are gonna be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. You also have side parking sensors up front. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a really nice 20 inch black wheel on some Bridgestone Dueler HLs. And the tire size on that looks like it is a, if I can find it real quick for you guys, 275.55 R20, it looks like. I may be reading that wrong, I can't see that well in the dark. Coming up top, you've got your 1500 Hemi 57 badge blocked out mirror caps, as well as Ram emblem. Front splash guards right there. Rear plastic applique over the front portion of the bed. And then your rear splash guards right here. Again, color matched rear bumper. Dual exhaust with black tips. Your four x four badging, your big horn badging. And then your RAM logo up top, four pin and seven pin connectors, backup camera is going to be right there, incandescent tail lamps, right over here we have your capless fuel fill port, and this is the quad cab, so you do have a slightly smaller door in back, but overall the black appearance package looks really good especially on this billet silver let's take a closer look at the interior all right so starting over here on the left hand side we're going to have your lock and unlock buttons all the controls for the windows the front driver and passenger windows are automatic up and down and then in front of that we have the um, mirror controls right over here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster Below that, we have your electronic parking brake on the left and your power adjustable pedals on the right. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a beautiful LCD layout in the middle. Each of the four corners can be programmed to monitor whatever you'd like, including engine temperature, transmission temperature, and so on. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped. You do have your control pad right here for the center display. You also have your hands-free call buttons to the right of that. Over on this side, we have all of your cruise control buttons as well as your gear limiter buttons. Up top, we have a nice storage tray right here with a 12 volt outlet. That brings us to the touchscreen display. This is the new uh, eight inch touchscreen display. I believe this is Uconnect 5. I'm not 100% sure, but I will tell you it is extremely responsive. The UI is amazing. Everything is straightforward. You can see all of your uh, temperatures of your dual zone climate control. You can see if the heated steering wheel is on, if the heated seats are on. Overall, this thing is just absolutely amazing. I wish I could update my touchscreen to have this user interface. I also think this guy has a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is connected via uh, LTE, and I think you can get it too to where you have Amazon Alexa included, which is pretty cool. Push button start is going to be right here. Underneath the touchscreen display, you have the physical buttons for the radio, volume knob, your mute button, screen off, and then your tune knob. In the middle, we have your hazard light button. Under that, we have the physical buttons for the heated seats and steering wheel. 
dual zone climate control is going to be underneath that. Over here we have your rotary dial gear selector as well as your push button transfer case with two high, four auto, four high, and four low. Coming down here we have your traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear and parking sensors for the front off. Nice little storage cubby right there which brings us to the media hub. We have two USB-C's, two USB's, and an auxiliary jack. Right here we have storage for a smartphone or tablet. Two cup holders and some chain storage. This center console is configurable. In the furthest forward configuration you have access to both cup holders and storage tray. Push this button and slide it back once, which gives us partial access to this storage tray down here with a 115 volt 400 watt power outlet. Push it again, giving us full access to the center storage compartment. And I have been told it fits a 24 pack of cans uh, pretty well. Coming back to the center armrest, it is a tiered storage compartment. Lift up on the first lever right here, and that gives us access to a storage tray with a USB port and a cutout for cord management. Lift up on the second lever, and that gives us access to this deep storage compartment. I wanna bring your attention to the back of this uh, tray. We have your trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversions, as well as your uh, fraction to decimal chart. So lots of cool information on this. We also have these little uh, cutouts right here for file folders. So if you use this as a work truck, you can store your files right there and be organized. Down in here, I don't know how well it's gonna come through on camera, but you have all the previous generations of Ram trucks on this little storage divider. Here's a closer look at the cloth seats. Pretty standard. This guy does have two glove boxes. First one's gonna be right here. Push that button. It is LED lit. Second one's gonna be right down here. Up top to the vanity, it is incandescent lit for a passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does come with a three door universal garage remote. Up over here we have your incandescent uh, dome map lights as well as the button for the power sliding rear window, your assist and SOS buttons as well, and then some glasses storage. And then we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I think this is a pretty good value for a big horn, um, really nice accent. Uh, trim throughout. I like the leather steering wheel. Touchscreen is probably one of the biggest updates for the 2022 model year. Like I said, it's extremely responsive, wireless uh, CarPlay and Android Auto, and the UI is just absolutely amazing. Like they knocked it out of the park with this. So with that being said, let's take a quick look at the back seats. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I will fit comfortably back here on either driver or passenger side the only seat i'd probably be comfortable in is this middle one uh, you do have fold up seats though which gives you a little more cargo space it looks like you get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats two cup holders back here as well as a cutout for a smartphone you also have a media hub with two usb c's and two usbs as well as another 115 volt uh 400 watt power outlet Decent amount of headroom back here. However, I just wouldn't have enough leg room to be comfortable. Incandescent dome map light. We have your hanger hooks on both driver and passenger sides. And there's the back. Let's take a closer look at the bed real quick. So to lower the tailgate, you're gonna come up to it underneath the backup camera, push the button, and it will automatically come down for you. It is dampened, which is nice. And it looks like you get two tie down points on each side for a total of four. I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, which means it's very, very light. I can take two fingers and slam it shut and we're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn quad cab 4x4. Base price of $42,700. Your standard equipment's gonna be right here. And then we have your optional equipment. Most notably, we have the uh, night edition package for $2,100.
Bighorn Level B Equipment Group for $2,430. And then a 5.7 liter V8 charge for $2,295. It looks like they do give you package value savings of $2,300 for a total MSRP of $51,850. Your fuel economy rating is going to be right here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. I want to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2022 Ram lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Andrew Johnson know you saw the YouTube video and he will be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share, as well as subscribing to the channel. Please check out the affiliate links in the description below. It does help out the channel a lot. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.